learning how to use DNA forks, activating the junk DNA in your body. In the DNA tuning forks, there are four. Each fork is marked with which nucleotide it is. This one is thiamine and what its cycle per second is. In your body, the DNA nucleotides form in pairs. Adenine and thionine are always paired. Guanamine and cytosine are always paired. When you imagine your DNA, it's an incredible long sequence of patterns of these four building blocks with the two always grouped together. When you strike one of these tuning forks and wave it down your body or someone else's aura around their body, it intermixes with your whole body. It enables cell-to-cell -cell transfer and within the lengthy DNA sequence are a multitude of all of these frequencies. All energy can get flat or sharp, flat with depression, sharp with stress. And here we go, we can tune up our DNA. On my other set of DNA forks, I put colored tape so that I can easily see the two pairs of nucleotides. Sound goes in your ears and to your nervous system. It reaches the far parts of your body, most all of it, through sound. It travels on a digital format in the nervous system. And as you run the fork down your body, it goes in a cell-to-cell -cell transfer and furthermore, it resonates with every cell in your body, with nucleotides in every cell of your body. I like to get the DNA sounds particularly exposed to your senses, ears, and I like to balance them on both ears creating a whole brain function when I use two of them. You can also strike them on each other for a different type of sound. I also like to spiral the forks up the front of the body and the back of the body. After I have individually used each nucleotide and twirled it and covered maybe 6 to 12 inches, all inches of my body or someone else's, I then start to use them in pairs. Now I have all four of them. general, a figure eight motion like this releases energy, stuck energy, out of tune energy, energy that no longer serves you. I also sweep the body in all sizes of figure eights on the limbs, on even the chakras, and on the entire body front and back. After sessions with the DNA forks, it has become clear to me, with my intuition, that people often go through traumatic events. They fragment. They fall apart, literally. 
And in a very challenging situation, they bury their feelings, fear, anger, insults, um, not feeling well. They just stuff that pain inside and become numb. The other thing that happens is that they literally drop pieces of their energy field and they leave it around, away from the body. For example, you can walk in a bad section of town and feel someone's frightful energy. You can walk in a battlefield and feel the terror left there still many years afterwards. When we ascend or become enlightened, we call back in all of our energy, but of course we clear it and tune it before we bring it in. I have found that this set of DNA forks is very effective in bringing in fragments that have scattered people, shattered people. I have also had a lot of people report after COVID and the vaccine that these are centering and balancing and a lot of empirical data from clients. One final thing. The DNA forks seem to be extremely effective in long distance healing. So what I do is I have a chair in my healing room and it's empty. And I imagine whomever I'm healing that is far away in that chair. I call in their body, mind, soul, and spirit. I simply call in my higher self. I imagine that I'm this big and I'm floating up my life stream. I connect with my higher self. I have my higher self connect with the other person's higher self. Come back down and I'm ready to heal. I do the entire repertoire that I just showed you for the DNA forks on the invisible person in my healing chair. The feedback that I have gotten is tremendous. How beautiful. Many blessings with one of the most powerful tuning fork sets, the DNA tuners.